The president's car has just turned in our spruce line lane, coming in from Nebraska Avenue. Car with the flags, first car in the procession. Rounding the turn. Secret Service cars, newsmen behind him. Perfect day for this. Temperature about 80, bright sun. You see the presidential flag on one fender. President riding in the back with two men. Robert Montgomery and Jim Haggerty. The president is being greeted by Carlton Smith, general manager of WRC, and by Robert Sarnoff, president of the National Broadcasting Company. Robert Montgomery, the president's TV advisor. Jim Haggerty being greeted by Mr. Sarnoff. They come inside, the president looks up. The president has expressed a desire to see the technical facilities inside. He will be taken below by Mr. Smith and Mr. Sarnoff, and then come up to Studio A for the dedicatory ceremonies. Meanwhile, a great number of dignitaries have arrived there for that story to David Brinkley. The cameras you see before you are color cameras. They are now transmitting a black and white picture. By pressing this button, which I now do, the cameras are transmitting a live color picture. When you step before them, you will be making your first appearance on color television from Washington. 3,000 miles away in our studios in Burbank, California, this entire program is being recorded on electronic tape. The picture, the color, the sound are being captured for posterity through this recording system which NBC began using on a full-scale basis only last month to change to daylight time. It will permit us, sir, to retelecast this program to many sections of the United States several hours later today, and with such true fidelity that millions of Americans will see this ceremony as though it were being enacted at that time. I have a strip of this new tape. I have asked our engineers to make two tape copies of this program. One will be sent, Mr. President, to the White House for your personal retention. The other will be presented to the Library of Congress so that its archives may permanently possess a visual record in color of this significant occasion. Now we have created one further remembrance. At my far left, you see a replica of a plaque which has been placed in the wall of the main lobby of this station. This plaque commemorates your participation in the dedication. It is intended as an enduring reminder to all who enter this building of the honor paid us on this day and beyond that, of our obligation to continue strengthening the broadcasting bonds between Washington and the nation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. President Sarno, distinguished guests, fellow Americans. I think all of us realize that in these fast-moving times, it is highly important that our nation's capital should be attached to every single citizen in this country by the very fastest, best kind of communications. Decisions of a nation and of a government that at one time uh, could uh, tolerate three or four weeks of study now demand almost instantaneous a reaction. So it is, again, apparent that unless our citizenry can be informed of the things that happen in the world and are reflected uh, through the eyes of uh, legislative and executive leaders in such a way that they may understand exactly what these things mean, then the United States cannot react as it should. Now, uh, today, as I came through this building, which will itself make these communications better, more rapid, more comprehensive, I was completely overwhelmed 
by the technical complexities and problems that the broadcasting industry has been solving. Uh, I do not know whether the rest of you in this audience have been able to make that same tour, but uh, it is like nothing else so much in my mind as the uh, radar room in a, a big battleship or some other complex thing that really is entirely beyond my comprehension but is still uh, capable of exciting my wonderment. So I cannot fail to uh, congratulate, to felicitate the National Broadcasting Company for this particular step in the communication, in developing the communication uh, industry of our uh, country. I felicitate the officials of the company, and I must say, I congratulate every citizen whose um, understanding of this nation, of the world, will be made better and fuller uh, by this development. Thank you very much. Thank you all.